Hi, I'm Leonard Kleino, Principal Software Engineer at Pyramid Solutions. We recently developed a solution for Union Bank that automates the many processes that must be completed when a customer passes away. IBM Case Manager, IBM Forms, and IBM ILOG J rules are used to manage the often complex situations that arise. In this solution, each deceased customer is represented by one case, which may have many tasks depending on that customer's relationship with the bank. A case may be created by submitting an IBM form shown here. The form submitter, who is typically an associate of the branch, will first search for the customer using either an account number, SSN, or name. Required fields are read until a valid value is entered. When I select the search button, the IBM form calls an enterprise web service to execute the search on the Union Bank mainframe. The form submitter then chooses an appropriate customer from the list of matches that are returned. At this point, the form makes a second call to another enterprise web service to retrieve the account information for the selected individual. This will enable the form to determine what documents are required to complete the case as well as enable the submitter to enter disposition information for each account balance. The form provides a hot link to another file net system to enable the submitter to check the decedent's signature card for beneficiary information. As questions are answered, the form dynamically changes in line with the situation. So when we choose written request, we see that a notifier section pops up. This is to collect information about the notifier of the case. When we select that there is a beneficiary, an additional question pops up, for example, that asks if the beneficiary is a minor. We'll then enter the notifier's information. Based on the answers to the radio questions, the IBM form assembles a list of all the required documents. Hot links to fill-in forms are provided when appropriate. For ease of maintenance, the required documents rules are externalized from the case in an ILOG J rules rule set. The bottom half of the form presents each account associated with the decedent, the account number, the balance, and the relationship. Some account types like ATM cards and online banking accounts are not shown on the form because they will always be simply closed. But for most other account types, the submitter will choose an action and enter a comment for the back office to handle the account disposition according to the beneficiary's instructions. We can act on multiple accounts at once by clicking on the No Action for All Accounts close all accounts or maintain all accounts buttons. The submitter can choose at this time to attach one or more of the required documents straight to the form if they have electronic copies.
The submitter must check to verify that they have viewed the original documents that are uploaded. Any required documents that aren't loaded now will be captured later by IBM DataCap. When the form is submitted, a custom application on IBM WebSphere receives it. In complex cases, when the customer has many accounts, several forms may be submitted. So the app first searches Case Manager for any existing cases for the customer. If it finds one, the new form and any attachments are filed into the existing case folder. Otherwise, the app creates a new case folder and files submitted there. It also files any attachments to the newly created case folder. The second way a case may be created is if the bank is notified of a customer's death by the Social Security Administration. This report is automatically checked into the case manager system each day and creates a case with one task that processes the report. The workflow reads the report and creates new cases or new tasks in existing cases as appropriate for each individual listed on the report. For example, this report shown would create four new cases for each of the individuals shown. Once a case is created, the tasks that are required to complete it will vary widely according to the customer's relationship with the bank. For example, if the customer had rented safe deposit boxes, a task is created for each one and assigned to the branch that holds that box. If the customer had ATM cards or online banking accounts, a task is created to close those. A document arrival task will be started each time a new IBM form or other document is filed with the case. The document arrival workflow gathers a list of all documents that are filed in the case folder. It then calls an ILOG JRules rule set to get an up-to-date list of the required documents for the case. It does this each time because the required list may change during the life cycle of the case. The required list is compared to the received list to generate a list of the missing documents. The workflow then creates a Word document containing cover sheets for all the missing documents. It emails that document to the submitter of the form. The submitter prints the cover sheets and uses them to fax the required documents back to IBM DataCap which reads the cover sheets and files the documents into the appropriate case folder. The cover sheets contain a barcode which identifies it as a cover sheet, the name of the document class, and the case folder identifier. These fields are recognized by DataCap OCR. Case Manager Client is used by both branch associates and the back office to act on the requests. In baskets for each task type allow associates to work specific task types or by viewing the All Work in Basket to view all open tasks. The Documents Required in Basket contains reminder work items for the branch when required documents are missing, filtered by the branch ID of the currently logged in user. An IBM form is used in the Work Item Step Processor to display the missing document list. If the associate needs another copy of the cover sheet email, they can enter their email address in the provided box and click the Resend button. If they click Complete, the work item is placed on hold for 24 hours so that any in-transit documents can be processed by DataCap. If there are still more documents missing after this 24-hour hold, the missing list is updated and the work item is rerouted back to the branch associate. If the associate believes that a document that's missing won't be forthcoming, or that another document that was provided satisfies the requirement in a different way, they can request an override of the requirement from the back office by clicking SOS. Using the Document Image Viewer integrated into the case client, the branch associates can view any documents that have been filed with the case, including the request form that they originally submitted to create the case.
The block keyhole in Basket contains work items that request that a branch associate disable access to a safe deposit box located at their branch. The step processor displays an IBM form with the box account number so that the branch associate can locate and block the correct box. Once the work is completed, the branch associate will click the complete button. If the work can't be completed for some reason, for example, the box doesn't exist, the branch associate can route the work item to the back office. Switching to the back office role, we can see the in-baskets for the death notification tasks created by the Social Security report, the ATM online banking tasks that were created automatically when required, queries and override requests from branch associates, and account maintenance tasks. The branch queries in-basket now contains the work items for the task that I sent earlier from the branch to the back office. Opening that task, we see the same IBM form that the branch used with the list of missing documents. The back office associate might add a comment and route the work item back to the branch. Or, after reviewing the form and the documents that are present, choose to override the missing document and allow processing to continue. When all documents required for a case are present or overridden, the maintenance task is allowed to begin. The IBM form that is presented shows a summary of information gathered from the mainframe and from the initiating form. If a signature card was not found, then the name of the branch supervisor who approved the signature card override is present. At the bottom, a list of required documents for which the requirement was overridden is shown. In future phases of this case solution, Case Manager will perform the required account maintenance automatically. Here, the information is presented to allow the back office associate to manually perform the maintenance in another application. Once the maintenance is complete, the associate clicks the complete button, which closes the case.